everyone, today I've got the Bad Batch Episode 4 Disney Plus review. Bad Batch are still on the run. What will happen this time around? So as far as the story goes, titled Cornered, the Bad Batch crew are traveling to this planet called Pantora, and at first I had to hear that correctly. I actually had to put on subtitles during this one bit. I had to rewind and then put on subtitles because I was like, did you say Pantora or Pandora? What is this, Avatar now? I mean, it did have blue aliens in space, so uh, I just had to make sure about that, but it's called Pantora, and I thought it was actually a really cool place. It's This episode started out strong and funny, and the Bad Badge crew go to this vibrant and lively place where there are these people who are celebrating the end of the war, but I spell trouble whenever I see stormtroopers still around. So uh, obviously part of the war might be over, but the battle, a new battle is just beginning. So I think uh, it's pretty cool to see these brand new locations and uh, seeing places I feel like I had never heard of before, seeing what else the Bad Badge crew can uh, contribute to and help out with. So as far as the casting goes, I mean, I feel like there are probably only standouts from the new characters that have been introduced here, or at least characters we've heard of, but are first being seen in this series. And we've got Fennec Shand, who returns voiced by Ming-Na Wen, who we saw her previously playing in the live-action Mandalorian show. And she is looking for Omega, and I really don't know why. Like, I don't know who's paying her, and I also don't know why. But it's just pretty cool to see her back. And I just loved uh, seeing what she was doing in the episode. I also thought that Echo and Tech were funny once again. And I like the scenes that... You know, they were sort of trying to create this diversion with the droids and going undercover and uh, that's one of the ways I feel like it's pretty creative to get intel and I just, I just found it to be really uh, awesome. So the things that I liked about this episode was probably the action scenes here. There was this firefight in the marketplace all because uh, of Fennec Shand and it was a standoff between her and Hunter. I thought it was really cool because, you know, obviously she's trying to go after Omega and, and Hunter's trying to protect Omega and get her back. And I really liked seeing the animation here. I, I thought it was really cool to look at and I at times felt like I could actually see some of these scenes be played out in live action. So. I mean, it'd be really cool to recreate that. Also, I feel like I might, I know I saw this after I saw this episode, but Raya and the Last Dragon, I could I could see some sort of similarities with the uh, action and fight scenes here. So I, I don't know, I mean, I thought it was a pretty cool uh, sort of way to go on this big epic chase scene and it was just so, uh, powerful and explosive as well. So overall I would say that while this might not have had much of a story going on here and I feel like they focused more on the action and spectacle, I feel like it was still a rather enjoyable and entertaining episode to watch. So I would still recommend seeing this episode and so I would give this five hearts on the heart rate scale so let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the Bad Batch episode 4. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel, Gummer Movie Reviews, Movie Updates, come back every week for a Joel Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.